Humans have used wind power since our early history, but designs continue to evolve. The first step in the evolution of the modern wind turbine is to harness stronger, steadier winds by moving them further out to sea. And when it's too deep to build from the seafloor, floating wind farms are the solution. Trials of giant turbines sitting on top of huge submerged buoys tethered to the seafloor are already underway and there are proposals for various ways of building floating platforms to carry many turbines, sending power back to land by submerged cables. But to see the far future of wind power, we may need to set our sights higher. A variety of designs aim to harvest high altitude winds while their tethers carry the wind's energy back to Earth. One proposed system uses huge kites, each attached to a base station. As the wind pulls the kite higher and further, it pulls rope from a drum, which in turn drives a generator to produce electricity. The kite is then manoeuvred to where the wind is less strong and can be easily pulled back in. Another system under trial flies a rigid tethered wing hundreds of metres up, carrying many small turbines driven by the wind, like propellers on an aeroplane, but in reverse. It is too soon to say which of these designs will truly take off, but the huge amount of power available in high altitude winds is hundreds of times the world's current energy consumption and that's a prize worth chasing. <laughs>